the festival. Where are they? You told me so many high things. He said yes. Because there were so many disciples of Swami, uh, she was Swami Maharaj here in this assembly and senior vice scholars who were here. Therefore I could speak these things. So Gurudev has come to give those things, but he himself, when he came to the Western countries, he said, at first, I thought I would be able to directly give this. And if you look at his lectures when he first came, he's giving so much he's giving. Huh? He did the first two, three years. But then Gurudev said, but then I saw that I will also, just as Shila uh, Prabhupada, Swamiji, just as he had to also focus on cutting jungles, uh, of trying to uh, clear away misconceptions and sahajiya, my God, and everything else, uh, so similarly, I will also have to do. So therefore, Gurudev also gave so much basic and introductory also. But his focus was to give this. So in this way, in conclusion, uh, I want to say that mm, someone challenged me after I spoke this a few years ago. Some letter came on uh, my email. Uh, what is this? Who are you to say that Bhakti Nanda Swami and that our Prabhupada is only a Sambandha Acharya and that Shiva, Bhakti Raksha Sridhara is higher and that he's getting the Shiva and that, So I wrote him back very, very many quotations and, and I, I wrote this letter to him explaining you're not understanding at all because you've never heard from these personalities. You don't even know what Prabhupada has given because you have not heard the further conclusions that Prabhupada also came to give. But if you heard these conclusions, then you'd be able to easily see what I can see. Is that these acharyas had their particular mission, they had their particular contribution to the unfolding mission of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and they are glorious because they're all Mahabharatas on the same level. It is not that one is higher or lesser than the other, but they were preaching according to the place, time, circumstance, and audience. So in this modern day, our beloved Guru Day, he is the Prayodhana Tattvacharya. He will go down in history as protecting this Sampradaya, just as he was Sridhar Maharaj protected, just as our Prabhupada protected, and promoted these teachings. So in this way, we are so fortunate that we have such a Guru Day. Therefore, we should honor what he has given to us. We should try to go deeply. We should try to follow his teachings. And in this way, we'll be honoring him properly, and we will be able to preach his message. Otherwise, we will be weak. Uh, as Gurudev says, I see you're all becoming weak. Why? Because not following the teachings, not becoming absorbed in them, but if we follow properly, and if we try to preach this message, and we try to serve the Lord's feet of our Gurudev, then definitely they will empower us. And this, these group of the conceptions, which are the uh, inheritance that we have received from Gurudev, this is his legacy. We will be able to properly promote them throughout the world under his transcendental mercy and blessings. Go on, pray for us. Oh, I'm still a 